What to watch being brought to you by Kia. Second of two meetings. The Sixers suffering what should be termed a bad loss at Memphis on January 22nd. We are running tonight from Wells Fargo Center where the Sixers are trying to break a long losing streak against the Grizzlies. Of course, many of those games, including Mike Conley playing with Marc Gasol. Conley barely playing at all this year because of a heel problem. You can have people believe in that. Well done by Ben Simmons getting all the way to the cup for two. Ben averaging just over 16. Simmons being covered by the 6'10 Jarrell Martin, the power forward. As J.J. Redick makes good from beyond. Well, he should be covering that guy, right? Amir Johnson? I would think. Yeah, I mean, he's just in no man's land, and he's not double teaming, and he's not covering his man. And Beat has been quiet, scoreless, and 0 for 3. Not anymore. You know what? From that very spot, or thereabouts, pregame, he must take it 50 shots. I think he made 49. Oh, blocked by Embiid at the end. Right in the Grizzlies for getting two more. The Sixers lead at seven after one. Second quarter is coming up. The crowd's been held down because of the weather. As the Sixers get Joel Embiid something positive to start the second quarter. So right now, Red Brown at least for the third straight game, running a 10-man rotation. Getting minutes for Justin Anderson. And playing McConnell and Ben Simmons opposite each other. Have spent some time on the floor many times this year together with McConnell at a wing position. Assistant coach Lloyd Pierce also went on to tell me how Robert is a routine guy, diligent with how he works, Mark and Allah. Lloyd likes to use a baseball analogy, the law of averages with him. The message being you're going to go through slumps. The only thing you can rely on is a routine. Cup has remained steady through it all. Charge, measuring a three. That wasn't easy because the catch was pretty difficult. Sixers converging defensively. Covington and Amir Johnson making it work. What a look by Amir Johnson dropping it time to Ben Simmons. That's what I'm talking about, big fella. You saw, yes, he's getting his numbers, scoring and rebounding. This field goal percentage is Embiid drills it. He's at an all-time low. Opportunity for the Sixers to get two for one. Simmons, head of steam, will get one more at the line. Nobody stopping Ben Simmons. Time running out for the Sixers. Redick. Got it. It'll count. Going to be a good test tomorrow. As JJ knocks down the corner three. Probably going to get into Orlando late tonight. How do you handle a quick turnaround on the road? And B, nice spot of Simmons for Joel, his fourth assist. And if the Sixers can make this a blowout, the likes of Embiid and Simmons can get a break before that second of back-to-back -back games tomorrow night in Orlando. Bellinelli coming off the Sixers season high. Amir Johnson standing tall at the goal. Sixers threatening to blow it open. Charge getting the layup. And the Sixers now getting that serious separation that Molly was talking about at halftime, leading by 24. If you tune in you could be eligible to win a mini ball signed by the guy who committed that alleged foul Dario Saric <laughs> Ben way too easy Sixers have it after the timeout they set up charge for a three and down it goes for Dario Saric green rebound to Covington Covington for three Wow. Robert Covington continues his terrific shooting. His third three of the game. The Sixers as a team continue their good three-point shooting. 10 of 21, nearly 48%. Bellinelli is fouled. You can count it. And Marco will help himself to one more. What an addition he has been. Marco Bellinelli.